we did have around this time um, our our biggest loss of the off season so far, and obviously that was Tremaine Edmonds. And I think anybody that even casually follows this team. I guess kind of saw it coming, and I'll, I'll say to varying degrees, um, Tremaine Edmonds was was kind of a, a polarizing uh, player for the Bills. You know, some people absolutely loved him, thought he was the most important piece to the defense. Um, some people were pretty low on him, and you know, thought he never, you know, really lived up to his draft stock. wasn't You know, the player that they wanted him to be, all that jazz. Um, I land somewhere in between on that. I I think he was a good to very good player for this defense. Um, I'm not surprised to see him go. And honestly, it it gives me a lot of concern right now um, of who's going to take that spot. Um, We heard in Brandon Bean's press conference that, you know, his his replacement might already be on the roster. Um, he kind of squashed the rumors of maybe Milano moving over to to that Mike linebacker position. I'm concerned with what the answer is at the position in the immediate. Um, but overall, I think good for Edmonds. Um, I always liked him as a person with the team. Good for him getting the bag. The contract that Chicago gave him, I, I wouldn't have been psyched to see those details come out for the Bills. Um, I think it kind of spelled the end for me when we saw some of the restructures happen and we saw you know Milano kind of get the restructure extension um, type of deal that he got. I, I didn't think that the team was going to have this much money invested in the linebacker position um, going forward, kind of their their contracts running um, congruently. Um, so when I saw that Milano extension, I, I kind of figured it was the end for Tremaine. Um, and then seeing seeing the compensation that he got from Chicago, you know, something like $18 million per year, $50 million guaranteed. Um, I think it was like $72 million overall. Like I said, Great for Tremaine. Um, glad to see him get it. it. It's not a contract that I would have been willing to give out. Um, that that's something I want to be handing out to like, uh, like a crazy <laughs> defensive end, uh, top tier wide receiver, um, something like that. Um, not to devalue the linebacker position at all, um, but I just think with with how many strengths we have on the defense and McDermott being, you know, this supposed to be this defensive mastermind, he's kind of looking like he's going to take over the reins. I was kind of hoping low key that Edmonds wouldn't be back and that that money could be kind of reinvested into the offense. Uh, McDermott, you're this great defensive coach. Um, I want to see the free agency money going to the offensive side of the ball I'm not saying everything has to go to the offense, um, but give me meaningful investments on the offense. Give me some meaningful draft capital spent on the offense. McDermott, you have first and second round picks all over that defense already. You have um, pro bowlers. You have um, late round picks that have really turned into great players on the Bills. Take that and you know, the money that we could have used on Edmonds invest into the offense and find a way to cover that up. 